What's up, it's you? For today's video, we be full moth Pokemon team. Seven years ago, I did a butterfly and a moth team, and I thought it's time for a little bit of a revamp because we have had some new moth Pokemon in particular. So today, I'm going to be doing just a moth team because there's not quite enough butterflies. So maybe in the future, we'll do a soul butterfly one too. Now, if you want to check out the original Pip Night Butterfly Moth Team, I'll leave a link in the description of the video there. And if anyone goes and drops a comment there, I'll drop a like and a, a comment to you as well. So I want to see how many people, you know, maybe visit the old video afterwards. It's a very entertaining watch there to sort of look back how things could have changed here. My first battle, this one is on the Poker Portal, and we've got a Spidops lead here. So Spidops is going to be using Sticky Web, of course, and I've got my Venomoth lead. So Venom Venomoth is going to be a bit of a fun set today. We've got a Toxic Spiked Venoshock set. we got Terra Blast uh, with Fire as the Terra and Bug Buzz as the other move there. Ability is going to be Tinted Lens and Item is going to be Red Card. So we've got this Spide Ops right. It was actually getting Quick Claw after Quick Claw in a row. It was crazy. So I'm going to be setting up the Toxic Spikes as well as the Spide Ops is too. And it gets a third Quick Claw in a row there. So three Quick Claws in a row. That's really, really lucky. I don't know what the chances are, you know, for that. But uh, I'd say it's probably like, I don't know. I'm not sure. Just off the top end, maybe 5 or 10% chance or less. Anyway, so that uh, Spide Ops is going to swap out. Uh, this is a battle against Slayzal as well. I'm not sure if I said that one right, but uh, we got the Toxtricity coming here, and that is going to absorb the Toxic Spikes. Now, I knew they had a Poison-type Pokemon. I was hoping they would activate Red Card and swap it into another Pokemon that wasn't Toxtricity, but that sort of uh, that went out the window. So we got a Terra Electric on the Toxtricity. I've got my Venom off there. I'm thinking, I uh, don't know whether I can live this. Now, my EV spread on this set is Max uh, Max Health and Max, uh, max Special Attack. So it's going to be going for an Overdrive here. I lived on 20 health. You wouldn't read about it. And Red Card is going to activate. So I was like, of course I get the Red Card against the Poison-type Pokemon that is obviously now Electrified. Next Pokemon is going to be... Uh, I don't know why it's called Rebecca for. If it, I don't know. That, I'm not sure if they were running a theme team or certain nicknames, but if anyone can pick up on anything, uh, let me know then. So we got a Shell Smash Cloyster. This is a very, very big problem. Like, this is pure sweat. I have to see if I can get around. I'm sort of racking my brain at this point. Like, man, there's probably one Pokemon that might be able to get it here. So uh, Cloyster's going to go for an Ice Sphere. I totally never saw that one coming, and it's going to bait me. So into Masquerade now. Now, this Masquerade is probably the best set on my team. So, we've got Intimidate as the ability. I've got Quiver Dance, Air Slash, Bug Buzz, and Hydro Pump, and Terra Water. I've got the item as Throat Spray, and I've got the EV Spread as Max Special Attack and Max Speed Tip and Nature. So, a full-on special sweeping set. If you enjoy these theme teams and videos too, people, make sure you do leave a like there, and let me know what your favorite uh, moth Pokemon is in the comments. And... Uh, Maybe why too? So go for that uh, Terra Wardney. I thought that was my best play here. Obviously, a Ice type move or a Rock type move. And Ice Sphere is going to creep me on the first one. But even so, I'm going to be able to live even five pits with the Skill Link closer in a row, which is going to be very good. And then I can simply go for a Bug Buzz or even a Quiver Dance. I was a little bit scared to go for a Quiver Dance here, you know, due to Cloyster's speed. So I was like, nah, I'm just going to go for Bug Buzz and get a special attack boost just in case I get outsped. So that's going to be the end of our big threat being the Cloyster. So Spide Ups really can't come in. Uh, Toxtricity could come in here and it is going to. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm just going to go for Bug Buzz. I outsped and Toxtricity is going to faint. So that's pretty good. We've taken out Cloyster and we've taken out Toxtricity. So things are going pretty uh, swimmingly at the moment. Next Pokemon is Big Bertha. It is Mabastiff. Like, oh, I don't know where this is going to live and it, it's going to get wrecked. So that's the end of Mabastiff. So three Pokemon are down. We've got like a, a mini uh, Masker and Sweep guy. Next is Get gets Kasug. I don't know what that means. I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump here. Hydro Pump Terra and Skeleton. Dirge is going to get washed away in one shot. They get This is a massive sweep right now. So we've got two more Pokemon. We've got uh, Snuggles and Spide Ops. I popped the Hydro Pump and it's missed. I'm like, oh, that's so unlucky. So 
I would have got a Masker and Sweep there. Easy. Easy peasy, right? I would have got that Masker and Sweep. So they were very, very lucky. It would have been a Friday video for them. That Pokemon is Frostmoth here. We got this great Tusk, and it's going to be a great pain in the butt. So this Frostmoth is going to be... Let me bring this up. Okay, so we got a bit of an interesting set here. We got a, uh, a Pip Knight special. So we got Max Health and Max... Uh, sorry, Max Attack. We got Snowscape, Infestation, Aurora Veil, and Leech Life. Icy Scales as the ability and Icy uh, Rock as the item. Now, this is actually very impressive. So, with the buff there to Ice Pokemon with Snowscape on the field, Frostmoth actually is reasonably bulky. And I was able to get the snow off and the veil off before I fainted, which is amazing. So, now my other three Poco, which are kind of weak to this thing, are going to at least have some sort of chance there. Spide Ops isn't a problem at all. It's just this great Tusk that I'm worried about. But I'm very salty about that Masker and Sweep actually, uh, actually uh, you're failing right so we're going to go into Volcarana here, and Volcarana is going to get its speed drop, which is fine. There's a sticky weapon on the field. So this Volcarana was a, it's a physical set. It's a Pip Knight special. So we've got Bug Bite, Flame Wheel, Acrobatics, and Endure with a weakness policy. So I'm going to be going for, I think I went for Bug Bite. No, Acrobatics here. Acrobatics is going to do Donkey, sadly. And the Great Tusk has got the Rocky Helmet. So I can really only get as much damage, uh, maybe like one more hit. So I thought to myself, hmm. I'm going to go for Flame Wheel and try and go for like a burn. That's the best I could do because Acrobat is going to do nothing. I went for Flame Wheel and I got a burn. You wouldn't read about it. So that was excellent there. So uh, I don't know uh, if Great Tusk is too snuggly though. I don't know about that thing though. It might be very like, its head looks very like spiky and stuff. You wanna, wouldn't want to give it a cuddle. You get like, uh, I don't know, you get like uh, those those big those bigger antlers and uh, horns or whatever the hell they are, spikes. They'd be very, very nasty. So now we got the Great Tusk going for a Disrespect Rapid Spin. That is the end of Volcarana. That was Max Speed and Max Attack Adam and Nature. And Swarm is even. Next Pokemon is Iron Mob. So this is a physical set as well. It's a little bit of a Pit Might special. We got the Choice Band as the item, Flare Blitz U turn, Giga Impact, and Lunge. Max Attack and Max Speed Adam and Nature. So I was thinking, I'm going to go for Giga Impact here. I want to see if I can take it out one shot, plus it'll be ultimate disrespect. So I've got Choice Band and Giga Impact. Here it comes, the Stopping Tantrum. This is probably the first time you're going to see Iron Moth live a ground type move like that's physical uh, due to the veil. Here it comes, and it doesn't take out Snuggles, which is very, very salty. I'm going to get hit by the Rocky Helmet. However, Snuggles is going to faint on the next turn to the burn that I got earlier on with my Pokemon. So here comes the uh, Stopping Tantrum, and that is the end of the Iron Moth. But the Great Tusk is also going to faint as well. So I've got one more Pokemon left, and they also have one more Pokemon left too. So it was like the Quick Clawing uh, Spide Ops that we've seen earlier on the game. Like, just constantly got Quick Claws over and over again. Last Pokemon here is going to be Slither Wing. It's a special set. It's a Pit Knight special. So we got a Hurricane, Bug Buzz, Giga Drain, and Heat Wave. I've got Booster Energy. Now, I've made this Modest Nature, and I've actually got it so Modest is going to boost its special attack, which is kind of nice there when you think about its high, uh, you know, high base stats there. It's a special attack, and we've got Max Speed and Max Special Attack here. So we're going to go for a Heat Wave. And it's going to get uh, blocked there by the Silk Trap. So like, all right, well, they can't use Silk Trap forever. So I went for the Hurricane here. The snow is going to stop as well. Hurricane, unfortunately, is going to miss. I was like, I wonder what this actually could do to me. And it's got Counter. So maybe if I was running a physical set there, Spider-Ups might have been able to actually beat me in this matchup here. So Spider-Ups is going to get another quick low activation. That's like four in one battle. I want to say that's four in six turns. Yeah, six, about six turns, they got like four quick laws. That's crazy. Or seven turns. So I'm going to finish it off here with a heat wave. And that is the end of the uh, quick law spider. So that's also the end of the battle there. Thank you to my opponent, Sl uh, Slazel or Slazel. Um, if you ever see this video, GG's. And uh, yeah, leave a comment. I always like to know if my random opponents do ever, you know, see my videos. That's our uh, battle here. This one is against Molotov. And we've got a theme team here as well. Now, I've got a question for you. I was doing this theme team right, and I managed to get a Masker and Sweep. Um, that was after this battle. Do you want to see the Masker and Sweep on the channel? Let me know there. I'll put it up later on in the week there if you'd like to see Masker and Sweep. I got some pretty funny bloopers at the same time. Let me know in the comment section there. I've actually never put a Masker and Sweep up on my channel before. 
So my first Pokemon to first here is gonna be Little Pooper. Now it's gonna have the uh, it's gonna be an amnesia set, which is kind of uh kind of gross there, because I'm not gonna be able to do a lot of damage to it. So I'm gonna be setting up the snow here. Which is going to be handy. Now, here comes a Venno Shock set. It was Poison Point and Venno Shock. That's a, that's this cruel. So, um, this Frost Moth, as you can imagine, being a physical set, it's not really doing a lot of damage. You know? So, I'm trying to get as much damage on this little Goomba as possible. That's sort of like a, uh, a clue there for your theme team uh, there, too. So, it's going to get another Amnesia up. This thing is absolutely stacked right now. I don't even know how I'm going to get around that. Like, only on Pippa's channel will you see um, a, a, a Palti and Weeper be like an enormous threat, right? So uh, anyway, we're getting this thing down and help. I'm starting to feel a little bit hopeful here. It's good, you know. I may be like one more hit will take it out. And then the Goomba has gone to sleep, which is very, very bad. Now, I've got a story for you, right? Speaking of Goombas. Now, I was playing Mario Kart the other day, right? I'm a greatest Mario Kart player in the world. Now, I didn't hit any Goombas, but on Moo Moo Meadows, I hit a cow twice in a row, and I still won the race. You wouldn't read about it, right? Uh, that's just a little story for you. A little bit of uh, food for thought. Now, my next Pokemon here is going to be uh, Slitherwing. We're going to slide it in, and I'm going to try and get some damage here. I know they've got plus four and special defense, but... At this stage, uh, it's looking pretty grim, right? So we got a sleep talk. I love how that had its eyes closed. It looks so happy in its sleep. It was like smiling in its sleep. And it's going to go for Venetron. So it's not doing a lot of damage. So Hurricane actually does a lot of damage there to it. I don't believe this thing is actually... I don't think it's ever lighted. Like, that did like way too much damage, right? So I'm going to keep going for Hurricane here. Here's another Amnesia. I'm like, oh man, it's got plus six in special defense. This is... Uh, this is wild. So I'm going to go for the Hurricane here. It's still doing pretty good damage considering. And the Goomba is going to wake up and use Venno Shock. At least it can't do much damage to me. That's, uh, I guess it relies on Poison Point activating and then, um, you know, then the, uh, the double base power on Venno Shock, right? Not a bad little troll set for sure. So Goomba is going to avoid the attack. It's going to keep profusely firing these Venno Shocks at my Slitherwing here. Now, the snow is going to stop, which, I mean, the snow didn't really have any benefit on my team outside of uh, outside of Frostmoth. That was, you know, virtually it. So I'm going to be going for the Hurricane here on the Goomba, almost taking it out, and it's going to be going for another Venom Shock, but it's not going to take me out. I'm going to go for the Giga Drain here, and that was probably just enough to take it out. I'd say they probably would go for rest that turn, so... That is the end of the Wooper Paldea. So that's probably the, uh, you know, I've never had so much uh, t struggle taking out a Wooper Paldea before, but uh, it's only on Pedro's channel, right? So we got the Fire Links coming there. It's going to slap me with a first impression and bye-bye Slither Wing. Now, my next Pokemon is going to be Frostmoth. I might be able to get the Snop again. We'll see what happens yet. So Wiggler is going to go for a, it's a normal gem tackle set. Uh, maybe it's got like um, no retreat as well. Normal gem tackle hits pretty fast there and pretty hard. And I'm going to go for infestation. So I'm now locked it in. I'm wondering like what other moves this, you know, this possibly has. Uh, it's now used up as normal gem. Is it just like a pure troll set with, with tackle? I don't know. Maybe it's like, uh, maybe it's Terra Normal Tackle, but maybe they didn't want to use it. So I'm going to set the Snarp here. Frostmoth doesn't really have like a lot of, uh, you know, move options to go for here, and I'm going to fade there. So the Tackle Phalanx was, uh, it was a very, very big threat. I had to come up with a, a magical way to defeat this. So we're going to go to Volcarana now. It's all good. I've got my physical set. It's good to go here. Now it's going to go for Endure. I love how when Phalanx uses Endure, all the little soldiers come out on the side. It looks awesome. Phalanx is a cool Pokemon. So I'm going to go for the Flame Wheel there. I'm going to go for another one because I obviously outspeed it. And now they're going to go for a Reversal. Now, unfortunately, Reversal is not going to do too much damage there. It's obviously, it's not on the lowest amount of health there to have the maximum damage. Plus, Volcarona, you know, it does actually resist that. Next Pokemon is Koopa Trooper. So, all right, fair enough. Let's go for a Bug Bite here. Bug Bite does pretty good damage. It is going to be a counter set. Oh, so Volcarona is going to get sunk there. So that is the end of uh, the poor little Volcarona beaten by Chewtool, you know, only on Peter Rush Channel. It's probably the first time you'll see a Chewtool beat a Volcarona. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to go for a little Timmy Terra here. I've got my uh, I've got my Iron Moth, and it's time to uh, it's time to faint this. So this was a normal gem set. And uh, I've got Giga Impact as well, so that was a, you know, that was a normal type move I like to go for. We're gonna finish off this tutorial now. It's gonna be complete, uh, like it's gonna be overkill for sure. 
So Chutu was going to faint there, and it's going to... It's probably... It's an entire family tree probably just fainted. So the next Pokemon is going to be Boo, and that is uh, that is Haunter. Okay. I actually didn't mind... Uh, I think there's like... I, I know like like Boo is and stuff. I know there's like a King Boo and stuff. I don't think... It's not, it's not any more Boos than that. It's not like... Uh, King and Queen Boo is there. I mean, there might be, or like Children of Boo. So we're going to bring in the Venomoth there. Venomoth kind of really can't do much at all. I'm sort of waiting for a red card activation to get a swap, and that is what happened. So we've got the Bowser coming in here, and actually, you know, that's a very good Pokemon for Bowser for sure. So Dreadnought is going to obviously get a pretty good amount of damage here from Bug Buzz, and it's going to go for a Rock too. I'm like, yeah, that's probably going to fight me in one to two hits. I'm going to get a speed drop here, and it's going to outspeed me the Ice Fang. And that is the end of the Venomoth. Venomoth's got a clean shiny, though. It really does. Now, the next Pokemon I'm going to bring is going to be Iron Moth with Terra Normal. So, we should be okay here. Now, I can go for a Lunge. Now, Lunge has a 100% chance of dropping the attack, which I thought, you know, that's going to be pretty handy against Dreadnought. Now, Dreadnought's going to go for a Terra Blast. Apparently, that was Terra Fire to signify Bowser's fire that it breathes. But, uh, yeah, that wasn't the uh, the Pokemon that were going to tear it in this battle. Now, the next one's going to be Dry Bowser. I'm like, why is that Dry Bowser for? So, I wanted to see. So, I mean, it does, obviously, it does look like it. So, we got the Terra here, and it is going to be Terra Ghost. I was like, ah, oh, that's that's why. So, that was pretty clever on the uh, Satan and, of course, the, uh, you know, the, um, uh, the Pokemon before that, the uh, Dreadnought. So I'm going to go for lunch. It's, you know, it's not going to do a lot of damage at all there. And now it's going to go for Chilling Water. So Chilling Water. I don't know what. Wait. Why did that drop my... Why did that drop my attack for? That's that's strange. So, so Titan doesn't drop my... Oh, maybe I... Maybe I sort of cut it out of there. You know, maybe maybe I actually cut it out of the... Uh, no, it's Sheer Force. It's Sheer Force Chilling Water. I forgot for a second. Oh, yeah, get Sheer Force. So I was kind of wondering then, did I accidentally chop, like, when I cut the battles up? I got to do it manually, right? Because they can't put a versus recorder in the game for some reason. And I thought I cut it off, but uh, no, it's a, it's a Sheer Force set. So in comes Boo again there. So Titan is still in the... I'm actually kind of worried about this Titan, right? Uh, so I'm dropping the attack of this Horner, which is going to change the entire battle. Uh, Horner's going to keep going for Thunderbolt. One more Thunderbolt will take me out. I'm locked into Choice Band Lunge here. I don't really want to swap. I can't really do any damage to either one of those Pokemon. So I'm just going to let it faint there. So bye-bye Iron Moth. Now I've got one more Pokemon left there, and that is the Masquerade. So like, this is actually pretty good. I could go for a Quiver Dance here, and I could see if I could get a late game sweep. We've got that uh, so Titan in the back, but I'm pretty confident I can, uh, you know, take it up. Here comes the Thunderbolt here on Masquerade. I lived that, you know, pretty well. Masquerade's got a really, really cool shiny too, like the green. It's like a minty green, and then it's, I don't know, it's wings thing. I don't know, like, it, it, it's wings. They look very intimidating. It's like, a, it's like a grass, like a meadow sort of grass green. So now the Horde is going to go for a Confuse Ray here. My Hydra Pump actually failed to take it out, sadly. And I'm hoping that I don't hit myself a Confusion, because that would be absolutely disastrous. Masquerade is going to get around the Confusion and get a Bug Buzz off. Awesome. So that's going to give me a plus one in Special Attack, which is going to be very, very nicely needed against the Eastern Titan. So I've got that Special Attack boost. Now, the last Pokemon on their team is the Dry Bowser. Now, it has taken a little bit of damage, but I was thinking, you know, this should be enough to uh, take it out here, right? Or do, do a lot of damage. So, I've got the Air Slash here. Go for the Scumbag Flinch. It does nothing, and this is Terra Blast Ghost Light. Yeah, I don't think I'm living this attack. I don't have a lot of health back, and that's it. That's the end of Masquerade, and it turned out the Satitan had an Assault Vest, and it had max special defense as well. My, like, what the heck are these EVs? So... That's the end of Dry Bowser. Sorry, that's the end of me, not Dry Bowser. I mean, Dry Bowser is a ghost, but, you know, I, I got wrecked by the ghost. So, last time battle here, this one is against our brand. And we've got a some sort of team team here, right? So, we got the first Pokemon as Gengar. So, I was thinking, maybe this is a team... I swear I've done this team before. Maybe this is like a Pokemon nurse team. Like, you know, G Gengar lost Levitate and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so, that's going to be the end of Gengar there. My physical uh, Iron Moth coming in clutch. Next is Club Penguin. I was like, wait, maybe maybe it's things that disappeared over the years. You know, Club Penguin disappeared. I, I think I played that once before. Like, it's like this little, uh, unless it was like some rip-off game. I don't know, but it was like this lobby. You were all penguins. I know that surprised you. And then you sort of like, you can type in the chat and a little speech bubble comes above your head and stuff like that. I think that's what it Unless it was a rip-off game of it, but 
I'm not sure. I remember like playing it like, I don't know, got to be like what, maybe 15 years ago or, or 20 years ago or something like that. So anyway, uh, regardless, we're going to belly drum Esku here and I'm in a lot of trouble because it is going to be a Salak Berry set too. So not only is it going to be hitting hard, it's going to be hitting really fast. So this could be it, people. It's going to use Tackle. It's a Pit Might special. So it is Belly Drum Tackle Esku. There is no way I'm losing to uh, Belly Drum Tackle Esku. It's not happening, right? So I'm going to go into Venomoth here. Here comes the Tackle. Venomoth lives, thank goodness. And the red card activates. That's pure salt there because they actually lost all their belly drums and they got one health there. Next is pickles.com. Uh, this is a pickle free video, but they, they called the Electros after pickles to try and roast me. And uh, Bug Bites is a two year K. I'm going to set the toxic spikes up for that SQ, yeah? So that means it'll faint uh, when it comes in on the next turn. So uh, the pickles.com is going to go for a Hex here. And Hex actually takes out my Venomoth. I, uh, this is a really cool Pokemon, Electros. I, I really want to do a Evo team and a, like a sweep with it too in the future. Like, uh, it's one of my favorite 5th gen Pokemon. So I'm going to get that boost of energy here. Pickles.com doesn't have a lot of health left there. I should be able to take it out with one swift attack. So I'm trying to roast that pickle in the microwave. And that pickle is going to explode. Uh, I'm going to say this too. Pickles in the microwave taste absolutely disgusting. So, next po I, I, I wouldn't know though. I've never had one. So, the next Pokemon is going to be Esco. It is poison. It's like, well, eh, what does it have other than attack on Bird Drop? It's got Ice Punch as well. Ice Punch does not freeze me, thank goodness. And I'm going to go for a Disrespect Giga Drain there. And that is the end of the little penguin. I was kind of hoping it would just fa like faint a toxic, but... You know, I didn't have any other status move. Next, next Pokemon is called Ben's Pickle the Teeny. That's just mean. Like, these people non-stop roast me. So now we got the Typhlosion going for the play rough, and that is the end of Slitherwing. That's just cruel. Ben's Pickle the Teeny. I, I didn't realize this was opposite day. Now, anyway, speaking of raids, there is an Inteleon raid that just got announced. It was the Ice one. So that's going to kind of be curious what to use. Like, are we going to use, like, Anger Point Pokemon and... You know, stuff like that. It'll be kind of interesting. I will be doing a video on that, of course, in a stream and an Inteleon guide too. The next Pokemon, I don't know why this is called Ben's Feet for. I've got no idea. Uh, maybe they're going for some sort of Pokemon Feet theme. Like, what would you have? Serena as size zero, um, Snorlax as size 50. I don't know. All right, people, give me your best suggestions for a Pokemon Feet team. Like, there's got, I know those those types of people. I know you're out there, all right? Give me them suggestions. <laughs> so, Serena size zero. That's got to be one. Like, we'll do it in sizes, you know? I don't know. Or well, maybe, okay, may, maybe like it's like, because Serena's feet are like sticks, right? So, I'm trying to think of some other ones. Like, what would, maybe, what's, what's a Pokemon with like ginormous feet? Maybe Iron, no, Iron Hand's feet are like tiny. Maybe Harry Armor. I don't know. What's the biggest... Because foot poke, Palkia, it's got pretty big feet. Anyway, so yeah, give me your best suggestions on a Pokemon feet team. Leave below in the comment section. I'm a, I'm a thousand percent going to do that after that new game. So Ben's Pickle is going to go bye-bye there to a Hydro Pump. That, that's that's what happens when you call Lugan. When you call stuff like Ben's Pickle the Tee. Next is the Pickle Airline called... It's a Salamance called Pickle Airline. That's just mean. Like, now they're roasting me. Like, they're trying to say they eat pickles on airplanes and stuff like that. So I'm going to get paralyzed by Dragon Breath. I, I totally never saw that one coming. And now I'm going to go for the Air Slash there. And Salamance is going to uh, eat that one like a snack. And take me out with the Dragon Breath. So I've still got... Um, I've got two Pokemon here in the back. So what I'm going to do is going to go into Frostmoth. Now, funnily enough here, I don't have an Ice move on this thing. So I was like, oh, this is... It's like probably the first Frostmoth to, like, to face Salamance ever that doesn't have like an Ice move. So their last Pokemon is going to be Salamance Terra. And it's Terra Steel. I thought it'd be Terra Flying for the Pickle Plane. Or maybe they tried to make the axe look like a plane. I don't know. Like, I'm confused why it's Terra Steel for. Like, if it's pet. I, I guess I guess the plane is made out of, like, an alloy. So that's why it's steel for. Oh, I get it. That's cruel. So anyway, I'm going to go for the uh, infestation. The the plane is constantly firing uh, a fumes at me, and I'm trying to get this disrespect KO here. So Frostmoth has got the leech life. I'm getting some good suck right now on this uh, on this play, right? So infestation is one more hit away from taking it out. Here comes the final dragon breath. It doesn't crit, none of that sort of stuff. Here comes my infestation. I've put it on one health, and the pickle plane is going to faint to infestation of pickles. 
and that's it, baby. Well, that is the end of this battle. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like on the video and a comment if you did there. I'll be back with another stadium stream, which I'll definitely beat round two today. Peace out, people.